What's up guys? So, uh, for anybody that was really confused on how to use the uh, AudioBox i1 from Precedence, uh, when I first got it, it was sort of complicated to use and I looked on YouTube and I couldn't really find anything that awesome on how to get it to work that was like for a dummy. So maybe if you're a computer expert, you can figure out how to do it, but I'm just gonna show you how to quickly get this thing up and running and so you can start playing music through your computer or with a guitar or whatever the fuck you want to play with. Um, so this is the box. Um, I'm gonna start out, so there's there's a mic input, like not a mic input, but it's got like the three prong thing on there. Okay, so that's one input and, input, and then it has another quarter jack input. Um, I didn't fucking know that when I bought it, that's why I bought this stupid mic. The, mic to fucking uh, guitar plug fucking adapter thing uh, and then on the output if you have studio monitors or whatever if you're a fancy boy um, there's uh, some monitor outputs for it some other shit um, this is the cable that runs into your PC um, you need to download some drivers we'll go over that in a second um, another thing you'll need is either a big ass um, headphone jack I think it's a quarter inch or just this adapter that I use and some headphones let me plug that in. Uh, this is the gain knob for the headphone output. And then, depending on which one you plug in here, this is channel one, this is channel two. So two goes to that one, one goes to that one. So this is your gain setting. So you wanna crank this up, I don't know, at least halfway so you can like figure out when this thing starts working. Don't worry about 48 volt, don't worry about direct. Uh, that's something else. So basically, once you plug it into the computer, you need to go over to uh, these downloads at this site, uh, precedence.com support, slash download, slash audio box, dash I1. And so I have a legacy universal control because I, I was having issues on my Windows PC to get that thing running, so I have uh, this version installed, but you guys should all be fine just using this universal control. So download that, install it. Um, I ran into a bunch of problems when I was first getting this thing to work. I don't remember why, but it was a big pain in the ass and I couldn't really figure it out. I don't remember what I did to fix it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I do remember what I did to fix it. Hold on, I'm gonna show you in a second. So you go down here, and this is gonna be your universal control. That one doesn't work, because that's the updated one, but it'll look something like this. Um, so there's a thing called uh, ASIO. Uh, that's a type of driver, I guess, that this thing uses to communicate, the, the computer uses to communicate with this audio box. And I guess it's just a faster thing. If you don't set it to this ASIO um, driver it's gonna be like a massive delay you're not gonna be able to play right and it's gonna sound weird and you'll probably suck worse a guitar than you usually do um sample rate that just needs to match the sample rate like in uh in the recording device i think uh, yeah so go to this click properties um, you can click advanced and then that's 41.1. So just make sure that that's the same. Okay, and then you're gonna need some sort of um, amp. Well, well, I I don't know what the hell you wanna do, but you can use an amp uh, simulator. I use, uh, what's it called? Bias FX application, or yeah, Bias FX. Cause it sounds real cool and it's got a bunch of good ass amps in there that I really wanted to, to hear through some amp simulators before I go out and buy something super expensive to play guitar with. Um, this is just a preloaded map, but we'll get to that in a second. First you need to come up to these settings and click uh, audio settings. And like I said, the device here. So it's gonna have, it'll probably select Windows Audio by default, but that shit doesn't work. Or that one does work, but it's massively delayed. Direct sound, that has something to do with that direct button on that box, but I don't really know what it does and ASIO is the one you wanna click. Um, and then the output, you wanna use the ASIO driver, the audio box driver. Uh, same as for the input. Um, and then your sample rate and your audio buffer size show up here. Um, 
if you change it here and you don't change it here, it'll probably confuse your app and it'll fucking sound like shit or not even work. So uh, basically what this bit size, the buffer size does, the the lower that you set it, I guess the, the smaller of clips that it's taking from like the guitar, the input coming in. So basically set this at a lower number and depending on how good your computer is, um, you may be able to go lower than me. Um, I don't know, my computer is like a gaming PC, but the, it's got really old memory and really old processors in it right now. Um, so I was able to get away with this uh, buffer size of 128. Some people even say you can run to 256 or 512, but I tried and I didn't like it. And I thought I heard a little bit of delay and I'm already really bad at the guitar. So I didn't really worry about it. I, I put it down to 128 and it sounded fine. I can't really hear it like failing at all at any point. Um, okay, I'm trying to think of what else you can test this. Just hit this little test button and it'll play a test tone through your headphones. So you don't blast out your eardrums as soon as you strum a chord on the guitar. Um, and then close out of that just by like clicking off of it. Um, I'll go over, uh, well, I'll save it for another video going over this stuff. Um, but I mostly wanted to just cover the precedence box to get freaking sound into your computer because it took me a long time to figure out. Um, you can probably hear, I'm going to strum a chord on, or not a chord, but I'll strum a, I'll strum a string really quick on the guitar. And you can, you can hear it coming through the headphones. Um, that should pretty much be it. That should like at least get you started and you can do more research on the internet if you want to get more details. Um, but that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, leave some comments, leave some likes if it helped, if it didn't help. Um, I don't know. Just ask a question in the comments. I'll check it and see if I can help you out. All right. Peace.